Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. Um, I've been doing a series for beginner crocheters, and I'm talking very beginner. First time you're picking up a crochet hook, learning the language, learning the basic stitches. We've already done the slip knot, the chain, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. So now I would like to show you the treble. It's super easy. It's just one more loop around than the double is. So let's get started. And I know you've got this, no problem. Okay, so here we are. I've got my practice ball of yarn and I've got a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And that's what we need to make this swatch that we're going to do. Again, we're going to start with, you should be totally old hat at this by now, your slip stitch, wrap it around your finger, pinch it and pull it through. You're going to see a million other people show you a million different ways. So if you find a different way to do the slip stitch that, or the slip knot that you like, go ahead, but you're going to start with the slip knot. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead four, five, six, I'm going to chain 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's make it 12, 11, 12. Okay. So we've got 12 here. It's a short one, but you know what? It's just an example of the stitch for you. So you're going to now remember you don't count the stitch that's on the hook first, second, Okay, so the second stitch from the hook, you're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice, and go into that second chain from the hook. You're going to draw up a loop. Okay, you've got four on your hook. One, two, three, four. You are going to yarn over and go through two. You're going to yarn over, go through two more, and then you're going to yarn over and go through the final two. And that is your first treble. Okay. It's called a treble. It's called a triple, uh, whatever you feel like calling it, go ahead. So again, we're going to yarn over once we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to go into the next stitch. We're going to pull up a loop. There you go. Four loops. Yarn over once, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you can see how tall they are. Okay. We're going to keep going. We're going to yarn over once. We're going to yarn over twice. We're going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop, four on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. This is a great stitch to know if you're trying to um, cover a lot of ground with the yarn that you're, you have. Um, a, lot of, a lot of patterns that I have been doing use these in with the doubles and half doubles to make a fan and such. So it's a good one to know. So let's try it again. Yarn over once, yarn over twice, go into the next stitch draw up a loop. You've got four on the hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And there we go. Let's try it again. One, two, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you can see that I'm not keeping my tension the way I should because I'm showing and I have limited space here, but you should try to keep your tension so that your stitches are consistent in length. So I'm going to yarn over twice and I'm going to try to keep that a little bit more uniform. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And you can see now I'm keeping them about the same length. Try it again. One, two. 
in through there, up, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. All right, we've only got a couple left, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with you till I finish my row. Pull up a loop, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. One more time, yarn over twice, go through to the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we've got two left, so let's finish this up. And then I'm going to show you how to end the row and how to turn your work and start the next row and continue. Okay, here's the last one of this row. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there you go. You've got your whole row of your triple crochet. Pretty cool, right? And you can use this for so many things. So now what do we do? We're at the end of the row and where do we go from here? We're going to chain two. Why do you want to chain two? Because this is a very long stitch and you don't want to cut yourself short at the end of the next row or the beginning of the next row. Then you're just going to turn your work and we're going to start back over. Yarn over twice, go into the first stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, let's do it again. Two times, in we go, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I bet you're getting really quick at it by now. Pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, go through two. All right, look how cool that looks. So go ahead and finish your row. And once you get here, once again, I will show you how to end this row and turn it and get to the next row. Okay, so here we are at the end. We're going to chain two and we're gonna turn our work. Fighting with this here little ball of yarn over here. Okay, there we go. And then once again, see how things are getting kind of straight here, looking good. We're going to chain or chain. We're going to yarn over twice. We're going to go in, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, go through two. And that's how you're going to continue all the way around. Every time you get to the end, you chain two, turn your work and start over again. There you go. It's about as easy as you can get, as pretty as you can get. All right, there we go beautiful and what a pretty scarf it would make if you just keep going a little bit longer you could make blankets out of this you could make hand towels out of this anything you want it's a great stitch and now you know it all right let's wrap this up all right there you go the treble stitch i told you it was easy i told you you could do it put this in the list of all of the stitches you know now so stick with me for these beginner tutorials We'll get you a whole list of stitches you can do. All right. Remember, always learn new things and always be creative. I'll see you next time.